Hello and welcome everybody to a brand new week and a brand new video. Let's get started. Today's video is going to be all about roads and how I painted them. Here are some of the tools and paint that I'm going to be using. The first step that I'm doing is I'm putting a piece of tape along this line here on the foam so we get a straight piece of tape. I'm just going to be using this cheap masking tape, but if you have some small modeling tape, I suggest using that. The piece of tape I'm cutting is going to be slightly less than a 1 16th of an inch. And here I'm just putting some marks down on the tape every 6 inches or so, so we have a good understanding of where we need to cut the line. And I'm going to be using a ruler to get a nice, clean cut. Now to peel up the small strip we just made. And be careful not to rip it. Now since my roads are about 3 inches wide, I'm going to lightly mark down the center at 1.5 inches to give me an idea where I'm going to actually put the tape. Now this step is very important because you want the line to be exactly straight. And I cut the extra piece because it's going to stop before we actually get to the intersection. Now we go back to the tape we already had on our foam and we're going to cut it right down the middle. Now we're going to take one half of the tape we just cut and we're going to put it on one of the sides of the smaller piece of tape we already have laid. And when it comes to distance, I would say you want a little less than 1 16th of an inch just to get a nice small line. Here's an example of what I have. And here I'm going to put a piece of tape on each end so it's nice and clean. Here I'm just continuing the actual ending of the road. And if you'd like, you could always clean up by cutting the excess off. Finally, we're able to paint. And when painting this, I would suggest maybe going with two or three coats to get a nice, good, clean line. And the good thing with acrylic, it doesn't take long to dry. And now we can finally peel up the tape. But when peeling it up, be careful because there's spots like this that will actually peel up, uh, but it's not that big of a deal because we can fix it later on. We're just going to touch up with a small brush and the asphalt paint we already have. And in the end, it should all blend in very nicely. And with the small brush, I'm going to clean up the edges of the lines so they look a lot more cleaner. And this is the part that takes a long time and you gotta have a steady hand. And once the black paint is dried, I got the yellow paint out and I finished the lineup. And voila, it's back to new. Now we're going to peel up the other section and we're pretty much going to do the same process. Peel it up slowly and fix any repairs if needed. Here's everything all fixed up and ready to go. And now we're going to do the entire process here on Lincoln Ave. And just like that, all the yellow lines are done. So the next step is to finish up the white lines. So I'm going to be putting two pieces of tape at the very end of the road, right where the intersection starts. And as for the width of the white line, I'm going to be going with a quarter inch. 
And same with the yellow paint, you might wanna do two to three coats to get a nice, clean look. And when it comes to the lines that come up to the railroad tracks, you wanna set them back about an inch because in real life, you have to have a little bit of clearance. And here I am preparing another piece of tape for the solid white line that goes on the outside of the road. But first I'm gonna pick up all the other tape and fix any spots that I need. And here's the time to have a steady hand. Now that this is all touched up, we can start on the other white lines. So here I'm taking half of the piece of tape that we just cut, and I'm putting it about 1 16th of an inch into the road. And the second piece follows. And same kind of thing, we want about 1 16th of an inch or a little less between each piece of tape. And now to get it painted. And same thing applies when peeling up the tape. Be extra careful because you will peel up the asphalt. And for the last part of the episode, I'm gonna be filling the small space with dirt. So first comes paint, then I could sprinkle on the sifted dirt that I got from my backyard onto the paint. Then using a small brush, I brush any excess back onto the actual area I want it. A nice spray of isopropyl alcohol is applied, then scenic glue right after. And that's gonna be all for this episode. I'm really proud of how my lines came out and they're pretty easy to do. It just takes a lot of time and a steady hand. But just know if I can do it, you can definitely do it as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was actually really fun doing this and very pleasing in many ways. But if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.